New tonight, a local school district is under pressure from parents to drop the mask requirement for students. Durham school district officials say they will update their mask rules when the state allows it. Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso is live for us now at Durham High School. So Esteban, what does the school board say they'll do in the meantime? The school board says that they'll send a letter to the state hoping to see if it's possible for them to make masks optional for the school district. And I spoke to some parents here who they want to see change faster, but as well as they say that they want to find common ground. And that reality needs to be the freedom of choice, choosing to wear a mask or not to wear a mask. A rally held by parents and students outside the Durham School Board meeting calling for a complete unmasking of the district. We're out of the emergency situation and these mandates are not going away and it's not okay. The board decided Wednesday that once schools are able to, the mask requirement for all students can be updated. I understand that you're giving me the authority to change the policies as soon as we, as soon as we're allowed to, and that we will continue to bring updates back to the board at all future board meetings until we know exactly what's going on. However, the state is still requiring masks in public places, but COVID cases in children are rising. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, children under 17 make up 24% of new COVID cases. That's 10% higher than average. Does that not bother you that if they get rid of the masks that there may be more cases than there are already now? So children, but while they may be contracting the virus, they're also healing from it. And they're strengthening their immune system. And so no, that doesn't, that doesn't change my view. Despite all of this, some parents and even some students want to see the mask requirement dropped. Last year where we were free and we didn't have to wear a mask. Rowley Hankst is Michaela Hankst's middle child and part of the reason she began homeschooling him was because of the mask requirement. I feel like it, it just doesn't feel right when I see a person or my friend wearing a mask. In August. There's nobody that wants it more than the school board and myself. That was Superintendent John Bohannon at the end there over the phone. And uh, it is worth noting that the entire Durham School District had 14 COVID cases this entire spring semester. Now, uh, the ma if mask changes do not change before that June 15th date, the district said, or if they do change, in fact, the district says that they gave power to the superintendent to make those changes immediately. Live in Durham, Esteban Reynoso, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Thank you, Esteban. Now the board will meet again on June 16th.